Hello everyone, welcome back to another video as part of ABAP hacks and tips. So far we have discussed about different hacks and tips as part of this series. The first one was SA16N, edit database tables in debugging mode and find the change history. The second was testing BAPIs or FMs using sequence option. The third one was how to debug background jobs in ABAP. And in this video I am going to share another tip which is save test data automatically in BAPIS FMs during debugging mode. Let's do it. To demonstrate, I have created a very simple example. So this is a report program which will create a bank with the key that you have provided in the parameters. Let's imagine there is an issue when I am creating this bank and I am trying to debug the BAPI. During debugging mode, I want to take this test data in a, into a separate section and debug there only. Now how do I copy the test data to SC37? Let me execute this example and show you how we can save the test data automatically without copying manually from debugging mode to SC37. I will execute this program. So this requires a bank key. Let me execute this. Now when I go inside this PAPI, now all the input parameters are passed to this PAPI. So how do we copy that uh, data which is being passed to this PAPI? The manual way to do is we will go to the FM, we will copy the values to these parameters. In our case, it is not much complicated because we have very few fields here like bank, bank country key, bank key and sample bank. But if you consider another FMs like creating sales orders or purchase orders or plant orders, there will be a lot of parameters. You cannot like copy record by record from here to add to the actual parameters in the BAPI. That will be very time consuming. So to save our time, within the debugging mode itself, there is one option, which is service services of the tool. You can click on that button. Under tool specific folder, you can find one option called save parameter as test data. So whatever the parameters which are being passed to this BAPI will be saved as a test data in SC37. Let me click on this. Test data saved by me. I'm just giving a name to my test data. Now I will execute this FM. If I go back to my SC37 to the same FM which I was working on and you can click on test data directory. Here you will see the test data that you have saved during the debugging mode. Now if I double click here, whatever the parameters that were passed to this BAPI in debugging mode were actually saved as a test data here. So this will be very useful when you are trying to debug complicated BAPIs and you want to create a test data out of it to replicate the scenario in debugging mode. Hope you are clear with this topic. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in another video. Thank you.